Now tell me a little bit about the learning curve you've been on with regard to grinders, because that's not something you've been involved in before, has it? No, not in the manufacture of grinders. We've used Hunter grinders uh, for the last 25 years within the business, so we're not unfamiliar with what they do and how. I liked it so much you bought the company. <laughs> so they say. Um, so we've learned, a, we've learned an awful lot. We've been maintaining uh, existing machines out in the field. I've been up to the Scottish Open to support with David to uh, learn how the grinding works, what customers are actually needing. So I've got a, a much broader understanding of it now. And this machine that you see here is our first off. This is one we've manufactured from scratch at Derby. Um, We've cast new beds uh, up there in Leeds. We've machined the beds and this is a new grinder and we're working uh, at the moment on the electronics of this here. So we've got an up-to-date modern grinder, safe and meeting all the CE requirements and everything else. Uh, so there's a, it's a massive learning curve, but we're all ears for customers, people. There's a lot of uh, hunter grinders out there all over the world and we're looking to sell grinders all over the world. It's, it's this new one now, the, um, the, the Derby built one. Does it differ much from the previous versions? Well, the fundamentals are the same. Um, we're using the cast bed. That's the critical part. It stands as apart from the other manufacturers out there in the marketplace. And you get that rigidity of the cylinder to the to the cross traverse that's that's going on with the grinding and obviously we can in situ relief grind automatically on this here so you don't need an operator stood right next to it which is what hunters have always done um, but we've updated the electronics on it uh, we've made it so that it's as quiet as we possibly can that it's all protected uh, from a customer point of view um, and made things better so Lots of work gone into it, but the fundamentals are still the same. A bit like the car, still got four wheels and a steering wheel, but it's how we make it. And you know, we are um, taking this to BTME after this show. We'll be at BTME, and in 2025, we'll be taking it over to America. So we are very, very positive about where we're going to be going with this here. But it's 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 about taking it in stages, developing it, understanding what customers want, listening to what customers want, and developing the project from there. Now, I'm no engineer, but the very fact you've got this wonderful looking machine here, less than 12 months on from when you bought the company, says an awful lot for the hard work that's going on back at the factory. Yeah, it's, we've, we've spent an enormous amount of time making this work, getting it machined, getting it drawn, uh, and this is the critical thing that is as well as just making it we've got to make sure that the engine engineering drawings and everything else are up to spec um, got that sorted out now we know how to make it within the next four months we'll be out there marketing it really heavily to push it out into the marketplace so. well it looks fantastic and good luck with sales going forward through 2024 okay that's great thank you okay.